guys. Good afternoon. I I am back. So this morning, you guys know I had my doctor's appointment today. Um, I had to go to the doctor to find out if I also have um, this bacterial kind of thing inside of me. Yes, Kubi, I'm here. I'm here. He's been with me, but like, it's just like when I start saying hi to you guys, like he wants to join too and say hi. Um, so this morning I got up, I filmed a plan with me video, a digital plan with me video. Um, I still have to edit it and everything. And then I also filmed how I made my paw print shaker. So I made another one today in my video, one for my sister. So here is the one that I had made last night. It came out so cute. I just, I love it so much. And it's gonna look great on my Christmas tree. This is the back. And I could also just write like Kuba's name or the date that the photo was taken or how old he is in the photo. And then here's the one I made in the video. And this one is of my sister's dog, Ollie. And um, I did like a little bit of a different kind of background paper. And this is Ollie for you, but I made it the same way. I mean, I guess I made it a little different, but kind of the same. But man, wait till you guys watch the video because I made a big boo-boo at first. And I was sitting there trying to be patient, getting, you know, taking care of all those little shaker beads. And you guys just have to watch the video to see what I'm talking about whenever that's up. Um, okay, so then I filmed that and then I had to go shower real quick and run out the door. My doctor's appointment was at 11.45 and I wanted to leave at like 11. I did not leave at 11. At 11, I got out of the, out of the shower, put some clothes on and I was like, shoot, I needed to um, print the Etsy shipping labels for the orders that I packed up yesterday. So I needed to print the label so I could take it to the post office. I printed the labels real quick and then I was like, okay, I really have to go to my doctor's appointment. So I got to my doctor's appointment. Um, the doctor like checked all my, like, I guess my vitals, like the, my temperature, my body temperature, my weight, um, blood pressure, all that was normal. Checked my breathing, said my lungs sounded fine. Checked my throat, said nothing was like swollen and I seem okay. Um, but he did order um, blood work to just double check if the bacteria is like in my system or not because then I have to go on antibiotics and then also ordered an x-ray just to make sure I don't have pneumonia and check my lungs even though he did say they sounded okay. So I did all of that today. I had to go from one place to the next and wait at the next place for the x-rays and all that stuff and it was kind of scary because like I'm not used to doing like x-rays and stuff and I was like am I supposed to get like naked? Am I supposed to put this thing on? But because all I had is x-ray on my lungs, I all I had to do was take off my necklace, which actually I need to put back on. It's in my bag somewhere. Um, before I forget to do that, I should do that. Um, so I had to take off my necklace and I had to take off my bra because the bra has like that metal clasp in the back. So I had to take that off and um, then they put like a green kind of um, heavy thing around my waist for the x-rays and yeah, that was that. So I should have my results either today or tomorrow the doctor should probably call me and we will see like what's up or whatever um my baby's blood work took a lot longer though and they said that they should have my results tomorrow so i guess whenever they get the results though i guess is when they'll give me a call okay i got an offer for a magazine don't want that but i did get some mail so i wanted to show you guys what i got before I start like crafting some more for the day. Here is one something from AliExpress that I got. These are little like pocket dies. I don't even remember that I ordered these and I cannot read what this says. I don't know, it's so hard to see, but so they're little like pocket dies um, and I could like put something inside. I have no idea what this says right now, guys. I cannot read this backwards. I'm gonna have to cut this out and you guys can't read it either because um, it's just not focusing. But there we go. Like what is, what does that say? I don't know, so I got that one. Apparently I got three different sizes or maybe it came with three different sizes. Cause then I also have this one. Again, I cannot read what that says right now. I just, I don't know what's happening. Why can't I read these? Are they in another language? And then I got even another bigger one. I don't remember ordering three of these, but maybe it was like a set of a whole bunch of different ones. I mean, but little pockets are always super useful. And then it looks like I got a whole bunch of my Amazon orders that came in. So let me show you guys that. 
All right, so I got Glossy Accents um, by Ranger. Wow, I just ordered this yesterday, I thought. But what I do have that I thought would fit my um, my glitter, art glitter glue, which it doesn't, I thought it would. But what I do have is like a cap to make it like clear. So actually when I was working on my Halloween cards, I wanted to just make the spiders glossy. Um, I didn't have glossy accents though, so I made them glittery instead. And it still turned out fine, but what I really wanted to do was make them glossy. Um, but because this doesn't have like a, it's supposed to be like a no clog cap. And I mean, this has a cap like this, but I feel like this could easily get clogged up. Gosh, why is my camera just not focusing today? I dropped you guys earlier and, or was it last night? And it's not focusing anymore. Um, so it's like a cap like that. Um, but what works for this, I was talking to Scrap Diva 29, Erica from Scrap Diva 29. I was just like messaging her because she had these caps for her art glitter glue and mine don't fit. I got a small and a medium, but apparently you need a large one for the four ounce, um, glitter glue and I don't have a large one so I went and ordered a large one today but I have a medium and a small I don't know what I'm gonna use a small for I have it but the medium one apparently fits this Ranger thing which is two fluid ounces so I'm gonna try this out right now if it fits I will link both the glossy accents which just adds like a nice clear glossy finish to something so if anything I will add that like, I, I don't know how to do this stuff. Do I take this out first? Does this even come out? I don't understand, guys. I don't want to break it. But this does not go on. Does it? Oh, wait. Okay, so I guess this goes on just like that. And it's supposed to be like a, um, a no-clog kind of cap. Let me look at the photo that she sent me because she sent me her photo. Um, oh, I can't tell, but what I do see is that the clog thing kind of goes on top. So thank you, Scrapdiva29, for sharing me your photo. Um, I, I doubt she watches my videos. <laughs> okay, so I don't know what the pink thing is for. It says it's a writing tip, and then how do I use this thing? So I took out this glossy accents piece. It has like a little cap. Really though, why is this just not focusing today? Am I on autofocus or like manual? I don't, like why is this not focusing? So, okay, this is the cap. I took it out. I think I could throw that out now. And then I'm gonna secure this just right on top. And then I think this just lives in here. Oh. Oh, okay, so it just goes like that, and it's supposed to be like a no clog kind of thing. So that's good. I guess I can get rid of this now. Okay, so my large one is on the way. It's just going to be a little while before it gets here. Um, it's had like a long shipping time on there. So then I'll put like all these little pieces for the ranger thing back in here. I doubt I will need them, but you know, just in case. I have this... Uh, little bin that I keep my glues in here so I have this one that I just need to finish up using but I've been like so addicted to this art glitter glue that I've been using this one instead of like finishing this one up but there's like nothing there's like barely anything left in here so I mean if I threw it out I wouldn't feel too bad like there's like just like this top um but I did buy another one when I was running low on this one but then somebody told me about the art glitter glue then I got my Ranger Multimedia Matte. I don't love that thing, which is how I ended up looking for the art glitter glue. But yeah, I just keep my glues like in here and this just stays like on my desk. So I always have access to like my glue. Um, this I'll put away and I'll put this away because I don't know what the small one is going to fit on. But if any of you guys have an idea of what the small one fits on, let me know. Wait a second. Maybe this fits on my Ranger. Guys, that would be such a life changer. And then that one would no longer get clogged because that's the point of this thing. I mean, that would be perfect. Um, okay, so let's try that. 
because right now it's just like this little needle kind of thing that goes on top but I hate it like this it always gets like glue in here um, and everything and I'm gonna grab a little q-tip because I feel like some of it dried up a little bit on the inside here okay so then I'm supposed to make sure that little pink piece I, I'm sorry if you guys can't see what I'm doing. I don't know why this is not focusing, but I gotta make sure this pink piece is on this. And then I could screw this back on here. And it goes like that, okay. Now the real test is to see if it fits on here. Wait. Oh my gosh. That works guys oh my god that makes me so stinking happy and then my top just goes on and screws right in oh my god i didn't know that works that is amazing guys yay so i can throw this thing out that i had um but this is what everyone like recommended it's called like a darice or something is it darice like the little needles and stuff and yeah, I guess I could see how that works, but because it's not a double needle, it's not like a no clog and I'm constantly like picking off the glue. Like if you guys look closely right now, you could see there's like glue on the edge here of my tip. It just like happens sometimes, so. That's awesome. Throw that out. Guys, that honestly makes me just so happy right now that that did not turn out to be a complete waste of me buying that, so. Super happy. Oh my gosh, guys, it even tells you what it fits on. <laughs> I had no idea. Tell it does I don't think it tells you on the actual um, thing when you're buying it on Amazon, but it tells you on the back of this. So the small base cap fits, the Ranger stickles, the Ranger glossy accents, some other stuff that's 0.5 ounces. And it doesn't say this one. This is a Ranger multimedia mat, but it is 0.5 ounces. So it does say it fits a lot of like 0.5 ounce stuff. Some there's a couple of things that's like one ounce. This one, and then the medium one. Oh, it does say it fits the Ranger glossy accents, which that's great. Um, so that's what I just put it on here, and it fits a couple of other things too. So okay, that was very informational. I don't think I actually need this other piece I'm just gonna oh wait I should keep that pink piece though right that's probably a good one to have you know what? we'll just we'll just hold on to it we'll just put it in my stash yeah okay so that makes me super happy then I have a couple of packages that I got from Amazon wait that was one of them from Amazon but let me let me see okay so I ordered some more of that chipboard to organize my dies running low again and then wait a second i thought i ordered two of these but i guess i ordered one um this is just the cardstock that i use for making my um coffee cup holiday cards and my teacher appreciation cards and since those have been like flying off the shelves i'm running low on the red cardstock so i ordered some more of that i got one more package this one's a little heavy guys Oh, this is great. We got these brushing shoes for my dog. I don't know why this one's all ripped and messed up or whatever, but I could not find these on um, Target or Walmart or anything, but my dog loves these and they're brushing shoes. So this is his, his like nighttime treat and he loves like the mini size. It's like the perfect size for him. So three boxes of that they only had like 10 left in stock so my mom just told me to buy a whole bunch and then oh here is my magnetic sheets with the adhesive back to go with my chipboard so i can make more of my um thingamabobbies to store my dies like i really have a lot of dies to organize and i hate organizing them so much i just want to like craft i don't want to organize but i know it's gonna have to get done at some point so i'm prepared for whenever I decide I'm gonna do that look guys I guess I did order 
um, I guess I ordered the set because on AliExpress, it's the gift box thingies. You could order the set for $9.50 or you can just get individual sizes. And I guess I didn't know which size I wanted, so I ordered all three. But they're just like good to have to add to tags, like a little pocket, whether you want to add like a little gift card in there, something like that. Here's like some of their examples. I do need, I feel like, some kind of gift tag dies, but um, I just wanted to show you guys that I did order all three after all. I don't know what's going on with me, but I just finished filming um, a video and then I edited another video. I'm, I had another video I needed to edit. I have like a headache and I feel like it is draining me because um, all of a sudden like I'm just mad tired. But uh, you guys saw I made this ornament last night. I just made another one. This one is for my sister from her wedding and it has like the date on the back and stuff. I added in this little piece of tulle to both of these and I think they turned out so cute. Like really, really cute guys. So I have those two that I finished making and I'm so happy I was able to figure out a way I wanted to use this. This I got from the Scrapbook Expo. It's the glass glitter. It was like five bucks for this, which I thought was a little expensive, but I like how the glitter is like different um, sizes in here. It's not just like a one size of glitter. It's like a whole bunch of different sizes in there and it looks very vintagey. It's actually called vintage gold, but all right, put that back in my drawer this is like my embellishment i guess kind of drawer i have halloween stuff in here still gotta use these halloween embellishment here um this is my other uh crafty drawer um there's like pom-poms and stuff in here this one has like little key rings which i just found recently my sister used to make like palms and stuff and she was getting rid of her stuff so i just took it and some paper clips i could make some paper clip like flags that everyone's been making and i actually have paper clips now um, my ribbon drawer is like overflowing, getting messy. I don't even know how to organize it, but I got some more stuff like this I got from my sister. This is like stretchy kind of um, thing. I don't know what to use it for. This is, um, uh, what is this called? Like paper, crepe paper, crepe, crepe paper. People make rosettes out of this. My babe got this for me for my birthday, but we didn't use it. So I thought I could use that next year and make some paper rosettes or whatever um but yeah everything's like overflowing in my ribbon drawer and i need a better way to organize my ribbon here i feel like i need to put them on a wall or something i don't really know um but yeah he was using that tool but this stuff i really just don't know what to do with this i have this one this one i don't know what to do with it and then i found these two that my sister didn't need anymore so i have those in here but again, I don't know what to do with them. And then I guess that's a good spot for the crepe paper. Um, but yeah, that's my ribbon drawer now. Hi, Boo Boo. Hi, Boo Boo Bear. Hi, Sweet Pea. <laughs> I think what I'm going to do now, like I feel like today's going to be an early night. I definitely have to go to bed earlier. But what I want to make now is another shaker. I want to make a candy cane um, shaker using this die right here. I'm on like a crafty roll and I'm loving it so much. You guys have no idea. Like today has felt like it's been, it has felt like a summer day because I actually got to do quite a bit of um, crafting. Um, so it's been actually like really, really nice and relaxing and stress-free. Um, I am going to go take something for my head. It's like, it's hurting. I don't know why. And it's maybe because I barely ate anything all day i got panera on my way home and that's all i had all day today so it could be that but i'm going to take something i want my headache to go away so i was going to play with the candy cane die but i decided i wanted to embellish um my babe's birthday card so i had made his birthday card but i never like embellished the front so i just made like a little velcro closure right now um something light i didn't want like a too strong of a hold because it is paper um and i just cut out a happy birthday in some turquoise color and some foam so i am currently sticking those um together and i'll have that like get like propped up or whatever um well it is going to get propped up because it's on foam but um, I don't know how else I want to embellish the front yet and I find it easiest to um, put in the paper while the foam is still in here before it's separated um, I find that just to be the easiest way to do it so that's what we're doing 
And once it dries, it's easy to like prop it out, but. And this is how it turned out, guys. I think it looks so good. I did like a little video for um, my Insta story, ins not Insta story, my Instagram um, as a post as I was doing this, but it's gonna be so cute. I can't wait to give this to my babe for his birthday. I think that looks great. I never actually like used those dyes like that before, but I really love how they turned out and I have to do that more often. All right guys, I'm gonna go lay down. I really wanted to get to bed early today um, and it is almost 10 o'clock. I have about four minutes left of a Lifetime movie I'm watching with like a really creepy house and it's like a haunted house and it just like makes people do bad things and it like digs into their weaknesses. It's kind of like creepy, um, but I am going to um, go brush my teeth, change into jammies. I already showered today, so I'm good. And um, just get ready for bed because I need to start going to bed a little earlier and I'm glad today I had um, the day off. I mean, it was like the day off, but I was also running around and um, doing my appointment and then x-ray and blood work and stuff. And I hope I get the results tomorrow. And... Um, yeah, back to work tomorrow. Tomorrow's gonna be a late day because tomorrow is back to school night. So I probably won't see you guys tomorrow. But thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video. So I'll talk to you soon. Bye!